Okay, hi everybody, it's uh, Phil Bedford here, the Rebel Networker, and today I've got a bit of a special actually. I'm sat here with uh, KPH. That's, okay. <laughs> That's Katie Patterson Hart, and Katie's um, just come back from rowing the Atlantic and set two records in the process. So, Katie, just tell us what the records were. Yeah, you sure. Um, myself and five girls decided to get in a tiny little boat and row across the Atlantic Ocean. We went from the Canary Islands to Barbados, which is 5,000 kilometres. And we smashed two world records in the process, so we're, we're pretty chuffed with that. We're the first female crew of five to row any ocean, and we're the fastest women to cross the Atlantic. Incredible. Now, obviously, most of these interviews I do, uh, and most of my posts, are to do with networking. Um, one of the uh, probably underutilised resources in networking is actually charity, giving back to society, and the networks you can develop, develop through charitable organisations. Uh, and I just wondered, uh, uh, Katie, because I know you did this, um, and you're obviously supported in other ways, but you did this for a charity. So first of all, I'd like to know what the charity is, see if we can give it a bit of, uh, yeah, bit sure. of visibility. Yeah, no, we did it as a you know, personal um, achievement, but more importantly, we actually did it to raise awareness about human trafficking and child trafficking. Um, unfortunately, there are 27 million victims entrapped in modern-day slavery currently in, around the world. Um, the industry generates more income than Nike, Starbucks and Google combined, which is just massive. So yeah, we're raising awareness about it, we're raising funds for it. The victims that are in the shelters, they, they need some rehabilitation and some support, um, and that's basically where the money is going towards. Um, so in the process, we've been focusing locally here in the UAE market as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been working with the local shelters and the government, the Ministry in Social and Foreign Affairs have been very supportive of our initiatives. Um, and we're doing a campaign called 27 Million Campaign, which is uh, the number of people in human trafficking, and we're doing monthly events, and we're getting the whole community involved and contributing contributing towards it. But if you can just tell us a little bit about your experience in actually working with the charity and what sort of a network you developed, who, who did it put you in touch with in the process of doing this? No, it was incredible. I mean, I've never been really that scared of talking to people, but sometimes you get a bit stuck for things to say. And I would definitely say that this is an icebreaker. I mean, doing something a little bit extreme, people are definitely interested in. They kind of look at you as a, are you, are you real? You're a real person? <laughs> Why would you be doing this? And that's what everyone always asks. Why are you doing this? And it is, it opens a door. People are interested in it. And it was incredible to be able to pick up the phone to the likes of Sonny Barkey at Gems Education and actually have a conversation directly with him from not knowing him at all, uh, just because he was interested in what we were doing, which is incredible. And the same goes for Dubai Duty Free. Again, picked up the phone to someone I didn't know, um, and it was just amazing how receptive they were as a result of what we were doing and the initiatives we were driving. Oh. Well, obviously, we know those names here locally. Anyone internationally you were uh, in touch with? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Manpower Group. And also, uh, it was quite incredible, we hadn't even done our ridiculous expedition yet, and David Cameron invited us to number 10. Uh, we, we didn't do any of this for these reasons, but it was absolutely amazing how it snowballed and so many people were interested. And he's been very supportive of our initiatives, and it's all been to do with the charity, and he's very keen to understand what the um, problems are with immigration in the UK, and how their child trafficked victims are perceived as illegal immigrants and he's looking to change. They've actually started changes in the legislation as a result of it, which is incredible. So, yeah. this, is, this is incredible. So, so let me get this right. In the process of you helping a charity, you became friends or you became connected to one of the top businessmen in this part of the world right. and one of the most powerful men in the world. Correct. Yes. Interesting. Oh, That's a good network. Yeah, it was fun. I think we need to be <laughs> <laughs> Done. Excellent. Okay, so is there anything you'd like, to, any little message you'd like to send out before we, uh, we finish off about charities? I think having a CSR initiative um, is great for some of the large corporates because they do want to support and give back to the community. And I think if you can really turn it on, a head, on its head and maximise the opportunities that you come across along the way, you can really make it into something pretty big. It's fun. Excellent. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. We look much forward to hearing more about what your success is. And by the way, Kate is actually doing some uh, keynote speaking now in the Middle East. So if you're looking for a keynote speaker to talk about making what seems impossible possible, I'm sure she's available. I'll leave some details below this. Um, this is Phil Beth for the Rebel Network and we'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you.